Like the pine trees lining the winding road I got a name I got a name Hi, I'm Ben Hart. A lot of kids ask the question, why work your tail off to do well in school? Why not spend your childhood goofing off and having fun? Why not wait until you are an adult to get serious about life? I remember very well asking these questions when I was a kid. I really didn't like sitting in class very much. I liked sports. I was a clock watcher. I couldn't wait for the bell to ring signaling the end of class. I could not wait to get outside and play baseball, to play tennis, to ski, or to have a snowball fight. I really didn't learn to really like school until I was in college. It wasn't until I was in college that I began to see the point of school. Unfortunately, the schools don't do a very good job of explaining why you were there. And let's face it, there's a lot of wasted time in school. If you really put your mind to it, you could learn everything that's important that the school is teaching you in about three or four hours a day. Then you could spend your other 12 waking hours focusing on what you are really interested in doing. Perhaps it's a sport or a hobby. Many of the world's most successful wealthy people get rich by pursuing their hobby, not what their school is actually specifically teaching them. But that's another topic that I will deal with later. The question here is, why work hard to do well in school? Why not just be satisfied with B's and C's for grades and spend the rest of your time having fun and goofing off? Why not just do the minimum required to graduate? Well, I'll give you six reasons why you should work as hard as you can to do well in school. Reason number one, your performance in school will affect your future. I'm sure you've heard that reason a lot. And that's certainly true. Your performance in school will affect your future, but not primarily for the reason that you hear most about. The reason you hear most as to why you should do well in school is that your grades will affect your ability to get into a top level college. Well, that's certainly true, but I don't think that that's the most important reason to do well in school. Teens who get into top colleges because they did well in school would likely be just as successful in life if they went to a less prestigious college. The reason they succeed in life is not so much because of the top level college they attend. The reason they succeed in life is because of the work habits and the work ethic they develop by doing well in school. Work habits they take with them for their entire life. The person who develops these work habits the person who develops this strong work ethic ends up succeeding in life no matter what college they attend because of the type of person they are. They have a strong work ethic. Here's the big reason why you need to succeed in school. It's training for the rest of your life. Let's face it, there's a lot about school that's boring. A lot about school that's not terribly interesting. A lot about school, frankly, that is not going to help you so much later in life. But keep this in mind. There's a lot in life that's boring also. There's a lot of things that I don't like doing, but that I do anyway, because I have to. I don't like paying my income taxes. I especially don't like filling out those tax forms. But if I don't submit an income tax form every year and pay my taxes, I go to jail. There are many days that I don't especially enjoy showing up to work or working at all. But if I don't work, if I don't complete my projects, I don't get paid. I get fired. Then I'll have no money to pay my bills. Then my house gets foreclosed on. And then I end up homeless. So I show up to work. Not only do I show up to work, but I make sure that whatever I'm being paid to do gets done gets done on time, and gets done well. Zero mistakes. Because I know that if I fail to do my job, I'll be replaced. I'll be fired. Now, in school, it's not quite that serious. If you don't do your work in school, you are treated to a soft landing. You don't get fired. You just get poor grades. You don't lose your house. So it's not yet a true disaster for you. You still get to live at home. Your parents still let you eat, still buy your clothes, still pay for all or most of your living expenses, still pay for your health insurance and your health care. Your parents are providing you a cushion. 
protecting you from the true consequences of your poor performance in school. In the real world, if you turn in C and D level work at your job, or even B level work, you won't have a job for very long. Or you'll always be stuck in low level jobs, jobs that other people don't want. But if you turn in C and D level work at school, your parents are probably not going to throw you out onto the street, at least not until you are an adult. But that day will come, I assure you, when your parents will tell you to leave the nest. That day will come when your parents will tell you to go out there and make your way in the world, to start paying your own bills. And if you're used to turning in C and D level work for your entire 12 year school career, most likely that's the level of work that you'll be turning in for the rest of your life. Because that's how you have trained yourself to operate always just getting by with the least amount of work possible. That's how you've trained yourself to function. Perhaps you've heard this expression, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, you've been in training now for about 12 years to be lazy. Now, the odds that you're going to turn on a dime and suddenly become a new person to become the opposite of what you've been for 12 years are very slim. So reason number one to do well in school is to develop a strong work ethic and strong work habits that translate directly into success throughout your life. Reason number two to do well in school is frankly that you owe it to your parents. Your parents, think about this, your parents are in effect paying you to be in school. They are paying for your housing, for your food, your clothes, your medical care. They may be paying for your camps, your athletics, your violin lessons. You owe your parents. Without your parents, you would not even be alive. Think about that. Your parents are doing all of this for you because they love you. And they know how important doing well in school is to your future. So when you don't do well in school, you are literally ripping off your parents. You are in effect stealing money from your parents. In the real world, if you don't do the work that you are being paid to do, that's considered theft. If I pay somebody to fix my leaky roof and he doesn't fix it, that's called fraud. That person could conceivably go to jail for that. But that's exactly what you were doing to your parents when they pay for your housing, for your food, for your clothes, for your medical care, for your athletics and your hobbies. And then you go out there and you turn in a lousy performance in school. You have literally stolen from your parents. You have defrauded them. You have ripped them off. You have also ripped off yourself. Because five years from now and ten years from now, you will look back on your high school years and you will ask yourself, why did I waste all of that precious time? Why didn't I try to get the most from my high school years? Why am I wasting my life? Now, you have to be in school anyway. Why the heck not work hard to do well? And in fact, what you're going to find as life moves on is that life just gets tougher and more demanding. That the easiest, that the cushiest time of your life is your time in school. You're going to think back on your, on your, on your school years, on your years in school, as like heaven compared to what the real world out there is like. You're still young. This is a time of your life when every opportunity in life is still open to you. Five years from now, ten years from now, you'll wonder why you threw it all away. If you're one of those people who just tries to skate by with the least amount of work in school. So that's reason number two. You owe it to your parents to do well in school. Reason number three. Well, in school... You learn the basic skills that you need to succeed in life. Have you ever talked to somebody who failed to graduate from high school? You don't need to look at their transcript to know that they did not graduate. You know from the way they speak. You know from the way they carry themselves. You know from their lack of confidence. School teaches you the basic skills that you need to succeed in life. To navigate life successfully, you need to, one, know how to speak well. You need to know how to write well. 
and you need to know how to at least do basic math. People will primarily judge you by how you speak. That's the first impression you make when you meet somebody. Then, if you can't write a letter or put together a good resume, how do you expect to get a good job? If you can't write a coherent, lucid essay for your college application without all kinds of errors, how do you expect to get into the college of your choice? And then, how do you expect to make it through college? Later in life, if you can't write a coherent memo, you won't be able to advance in your job, unless your job is mopping floors. Now, I make my living as a writer. I'm an advertising copywriter. I write advertisements. That's how I get paid. I've also written seven books. I happen to believe writing is one of the best and easiest ways to make a living. I've made millions of dollars writing. But I also believe that you need to be fluent in technology. I believe that if you know technology and how to write and speak well, plus have a good work ethic, you will never starve. You will always have a job, and you will always be able to make a living. Your life will be so much easier if you can write well, if you can speak well, and if you are fluent in technology. Now, even 12 years in school won't make you an expert in all these skills, all these skills that you need to be successful in life. But school, if you pay attention and do the work, will at least get you pointed down the right path. Ideally, you'll also want to complete college and then perhaps go on to graduate school where you will specialize in a specific subject or field. Then once you get through medical school or law school or engineering school or business school or some other graduate school in a subject that interests you, you will still be considered a novice in your chosen profession, even after all that schooling. Even after 16 years or even 20 years of school, you'll still be considered a novice in your chosen profession. You'll still need to continue studying harder than ever. Just because you've graduated from medical school doesn't mean you're qualified to conduct brain surgery. Just because you graduated from engineering school doesn't mean that you're anywhere near qualified to build a bridge. Just because you graduated from law school doesn't mean that you're qualified to argue cases before the Supreme Court of the United States. Many more years of work and study and paying your dues will be required to reach that level. Your first job, even out of graduate school, will be at the bottom of the ladder. But at least, you'll be on the ladder, climbing your way up. Make no mistake, life is tough. Life gets tougher as you move through life. Your years in high school will be the easiest, most carefree years of your life. I'm sure you've seen homeless people on the street. Those are the people who did not do well in school. Or think of all those people living in trailer parks. Is that where you'd like to end up? Think about this. 90% of Americans are barely able to make enough money to pay their bills. They are living from paycheck to paycheck. If they miss one or two paychecks, they're on the street, homeless. Only 10% of Americans out there are making enough money to have a little extra, so they can go to the movies once in a while, go out to dinner, or go on a vacation. 90% of Americans are just hanging on, just barely making enough money to keep a roof over their heads and food on the table, clothes on their back. So think of school as your chance to learn the basic survival skills so that you don't end up like that. Think of your time in school as literally fighting for your life, fighting for your survival. You probably don't think of your work in school that way because your parents are protecting you right now from the harsh realities of life. But just remember this, life for you will never be easier than it is right now. Brace yourself, prepare yourself by doing well in school. Treat your time in school as just like a job, a job you need to do very well at if you want to have a chance at a successful and happy life. So that's, so that's reason number three. School teaches you the basic survival skills that you need to survive in life. Like the pine trees lining the winding road, I got a name, I got a name. 